Yep, she's five years old. Oh, yep, she's definitely five years old. I think I'll just wait for him to come back and then... Okay. What up guys, today is day 30 or day 7 of trip 3 and right now we are in Kaira Kuen which is actually a uh, top, top 3 landscape garden all of Japan so it's really cool it's here uh, in Mito, the capital of Ibaraki prefecture and um, this uh, garden is famous because it has over 3,000 plum trees so that is really awesome, we're gonna try to find these plum trees and uh, once again, this is Odigo 47, we're all the time to all 47 prefectures and, uh, and uh, documenting every single day, so please stay up to date. And I guess I will see you guys in the vlog! So we are here in the Kaira Kuen Garden, and it's pretty beautiful. Really, really big. A lot of flowers. Yeah, as you can, as you can see, there's like um, junior high school students running around here. There's old people, you know, going on a nice bicycle ride. It's really, really peaceful. Except the flowers are not um, alive. Not flowers. The plum trees are not um, blooming. They're actually kind of dead. I think we missed it by a week or two because they're supposed to be in full bloom in uh, February and March and uh, right now it's late March so we probably just missed it but um, I'll definitely come here um, in February when you're supposed to and uh, right now we're heading to Hitachi Seaside Park where there should be a lot of beautiful flowers so hopefully we can show you something really awesome there so let's go! So here's the map, that's how big it is. There's a lot of stuff to do here. Not only just flowers, there's like actually like games and stuff. So, should be exciting. So what are you going to get? Ah. Hey. Hey. So, you get 10 or more baskets, you can win a butt smacker, like that, or a rugby ball. Of course, I chose the butt smacker, baby. So, um, it doesn't hurt actually that much. Shit. Ready? Ready? What the hell was that, mate? No! Oh! You're beating Chris already! I know! Oh! What is, what is this? What is this? Got a, she got a push throw going. She got a push throw. One more! Oh, you beat Chris, it's okay. That was so fun, what is that? <laughs> that, that, that. You can climb up there and stuff. I'm gonna... <laughs> 
So, um, you thought Seaside Park has been quite entertaining. Uh, I think it's more for children, uh, about junior high school students. <laughs> All the rides seem to be for, kind of for children. So if you guys have a, if you're a family and you have little small kids, perfect for that. If you are a grown person like we are supposed to be, it is a little bit... Yeah, it's still good. I still ride a giraffe. A little bit fun. She did ride a giraffe and she had a lot of fun going about one mile an hour, right, yeah. maybe less, maybe point less. two miles yeah. an hour. Yeah, about that. Currently, we are at the flower park right here in Hitachi Seaside Park and it is gorgeous. These yellow flowers couldn't be any more beautiful and we are walking through this uh, flower garden and um, there's so many different types of flowers. There's actually over a million flowers, flower buds, flower stems I guess, and over 550 types of flowers and she's hitting me right now with my thing that I won, my whipper that I won from the basketball shot because I'm a G unit, you know, you know, you know. Hey Kim. Hi. How do you like that whipper? I whip my head back and forth, I whip my head back and forth. <laughs> Hey guys, so today was day 30 or day 7 of trip 3. Uh, it was really fun, we went to Hitachi Seaside Park and then we went to um, a garden that was one of the top 3 gardens all of Japan, so it was really awesome. And tomorrow we're off to Chiba Prefecture, so another new prefecture to explore. And um, once again, this is Odigo 47, uh, where I'll be trying to offer prefectures, um, so please step there, we're vlogging every single day. If you guys know what Odigo is, please check the website down below. If you guys want to come to Japan, uh, Odigo is definitely the website to check. It's got all this information about um, all these places you can go to in Japan, you can make your own itinerary. I mean, it's awesome, so I guess I will see you guys tomorrow.